Moss says this blast killed 500 people. Children are among the dead. As Israel and Hamas blame each other for what happened, President Joe Biden is on his way to the region. Sirens blaring in the aftermath of the blast. Searing flames engulfed the hospital in Gaza City, also charring cars nearby. The explosion is estimated to have killed hundreds of people at the hospital that was housing not only patients, but also Palestinians seeking shelter from the war. Videos show a frantic response, rushing the injured to another hospital nearby for treatment. Hamas says an Israeli airstrike is to blame for the carnage. Israel says a misfired Palestinian militant rocket caused it. I can confirm that an analysis of the IDF operational systems indicates that a barrage of rockets was fired by terrorists in Gaza, passing in close proximity to the El Hali Al Mahdi hospital in Gaza at the time it was hit. This is the responsibility of Islamic Jihad that killed innocents in the hospital in Gaza. The world responding. An attack against a civilian infrastructure is not in line with international law. The blast comes as President Joe Biden leaves for Israel, his trip already impacted by the loss of life. After his Israel visit Wednesday, the president was scheduled to meet in Jordan with Jordan's king, Egypt's president, and the Palestinian Authority president. In the wake of the blast, the Palestinian Authority president withdrew his participation, and Jordan has now canceled the summit. Jordan's foreign minister says the war is pushing the region to the brink. Among the goals for Biden's trip, in addition to showing support for Israel, is helping get much-needed humanitarian aid to the people in Gaza. Guys.